floating, okay? So we're gonna talk about ecosystems again, but this time more about changes in the ecosystem, and, and those changes are gonna stem from populations, okay? Because populations are what lead to change, or change in the environment can change a population. It kind of works together. So, because we know excessive population led to a lot of changes on our planet, and it, and it works the other way around. Our planet causes changes to populations. So, we're gonna go over um, biodiversity, which we talked about in the beginning of the year. This is a critical uh, component to Earth capital. I have no voice today. There's different types of diversity, and I promise you that these are going to be mentioned on the test, and we're going to apply them to a lot of topics for, uh, sporadically throughout the rest of the year. So functional diversity, species diversity, genetic diversity, and ecological diversity. Who could tell me about any? And it, just think of the word diverse. We, we define it once. What does it mean? Many and variety. Okay? So differences and a lot of. So use those words and give me functional, species, genetic. Different functions? No, I mean specific. So like, go with like, easy. Like, like different types of like plants or like? Where, where would that be? Uh, Species. Species. Okay, if you're going to talk about a specific type of organism, you have variety or, you know, of species. Or genetic. Or genetic diversity would be like a lot of different uh, types of genes for different. Exactly. What variety like of genetics. Variety of like chemical variety processes. Of variety of chemical processes, good. Functional Cycling yeah. and matter. How much I want to say something right now to you that's killing me and I can't regarding energy, but yes, I will stay quiet. And the last diversity is what? Variety of ecosystems. Yes. Variety of ecosystems or even a broader or a type of ecosystem is like a biome, okay? So variety of land and aquatic ecosystems. Review. Review. Guys, what's an ecosystem? By definition. Sorry. Not just animals. Organisms in general, a group of organisms in a given area interacting with the living and non living parts of the environment. Now, all ecosystems are going to vary in size, they're going to vary with organisms. Uh, but within an ecosystem, there are several components and this is a review of levels of organization what are they Ooh, um, organism. go backwards now try to go backwards okay um, no that's um, later oh. that's gonna be right here no no this no 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 no, no. ecosystem below is what Community. community, then population. populations, then species. and organism. Yeah, we could go smaller and smaller and smaller, but yeah. remember, environmental science starts here. We don't really work, I mean, I gave you basic chemistry. and live. This is one component of an ecosystem. I'm moving everything but what I need to move. What's the role of an organism? A role an organism plays in its niche. habitat is it's a niche. This is a critical term. In, in AP, we have fundamental niche and realized niche. I consider it more like uh, a fake niche and a real niche. So the fundamental niche is really your full potential. Like what can you actually do? And I'll make this bigger. And the realized niche is the part of the fundamental niche that you and I start talking something else. All right, let's look at this picture. Describe a niche in this picture. Be creative. The birds uh, mating. Birds mating. Oh, oh that's a niche. What else? Shh, girls. The uh, fungus that will eventually break down the tree. Awesome. The fungus that will eventually break down the tree. The detritus feeders eating up the remains of whatever. Good. Detrivores uh, feeding. Is it kind of the squirrel? Uh, what? The yes. Fungus. The hawk, which is the top of the food chain, about to eat any of those things, really. Bird. 
The tree drinking water. You know that I I'm, I was on that. no two organisms, no two organisms. Good. Occupy the same niche. What does that mean? Good. You, it's critical that you include both of those things. They can't live in the same place and feed off of the same place at the same time. Even if it's this tree, okay, there could be organisms feeding right here and there could be organisms feeding here at the same time. But if they are occupying the same niche, things are going to happen. And that's really the focus of this whole chapter. Yes? Are talking about like... For you to be content in where you live, what are the things that your habitat needs to provide you with? What is your shelter, right? Whoops, that wasn't property. Food, water. Water is always first, right? Without water, I mean, you can survive without food. So you're here about the person that. Food, water. Hello, what else? Your shelter. Well, this is your shelter. So, light. That's there. Climate, minerals, or Well, awesome. Other organisms is really why I go through this little step because you don't just need non living or abiotic factors to survive. You need other organisms, number one, to reproduce and to have relationships with, right? Is that, is that why, like, people that live by themselves, like, get a pet? Yes. A cat, right? So you know where we're going in this unit. We're going to start with species in the ecosystem, but the majority of the focus is on populations in the ecosystem, okay? So here's a little bit of species. What's, uh, or history, or what's the definition? An organism that can reproduce. Good. An organism that can reproduce fertile offspring with each other, which we know weird things have been going on. <laughs> the history of species, we know this from fossil records, and you study this in bio. I'm not even going to get into that. But species range from 4 million years old to 100 million years old. And this shows you variety of species. And like I mentioned before, we will have a map, a set of map um, reviews for like three days where we cover species in the world, water in the world, fossil fuels in the world, and all these things. So